Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Egyptian. We're back in another episode of Withstand Survival. As you can see, we're back at the home base. Um, I did kind of want to see, you know, a little bit unstable sometimes this game. I just wanted to make sure that our little greenhouse here was still going to be alive and kicking, and it is. Um, not going to be doing too much here, but one thing that I did notice when editing the last video. So I came over here and I was making rifle bullets. After I created the first one, it defaulted back to pistol bullets. I don't think that's a feature. I did let the developer know just in case. So in case you guys caught that, good on you. And that is something that I know as well, or I recognized rather. So that's now we have, uh, you know, 71. I kept wondering why my ammunition for rifle wasn't going up. But whatever. It is what it is. We figured it out. Now we know for the future. I'm going to do a couple little things here. I am going to go ahead and make a little bit more sniper bullets. And rifle bullets. Or should we just go with pistol? Hmm. Now oh, the rifle's just so much more fun very well and i don't think as soon as i say this i'm going to be wrong actually let me check the vehicle repair kit metal parts okay i don't think there's anything else that i'm going to need the metal for i was going to smelt the rest of it but you know what now that i'm seeing this here we're going to need a scissors in the future uh, i believe to make yes you do acid mask gloves boots hazmat suit so that's something that we're going to need in the future so instead of converting everything i'm going to let it be we're going to put whatever we can over here into our storage so the metal scrap we don't need currently the gears oh our storage is full oh that's no good that's no good then we make another storage what do we need oh press b to go to this menu that works out a little bit better storage container so we have the saw and the hammer Planks, metal parts, and two metal. Okay. I don't think we have any metal here, but we do have our metal scrap that we just threw in there. So it looks like I'm a liar. We are going to convert all of this over to metal. Very, very nice. Okay, and I already forgot what the hell I needed. That's fantastic. Oh. Okay, I'm going to need one more metal part. Okay, we can do that. No problem. Um, these things just kind of don't sit perfectly well. So we're going to go ahead and just throw one over here. And yeah, that's good enough. Oh, no. Metal parts. No, we needed metal parts. I should have only converted one of these to metal. And I could have converted the other one to a metal part. Well, it looks like that plan got spoiled a little bit. Do I have any surprises in here? Unfortunately, freaking not. Is there anything else that I can do? Nope, absolutely not. So let's run around here and see if, by chance, there is a piece of metal laying on the ground. I'm already, I've already been home longer than I was planning on it. Hey, look at that. So, sorry about that. Um, things just kind of happen sometimes. But we are going to go out and see some new parts of the map that I have not seen, or that we haven't seen in a while at least. No idea why I came to the freaking truck here. Alright. Never thought I'd have too many metal scraps and not enough metal parts. Never did I expect that. Build it. Very nice. So we can probably start sectioning some of this stuff off. Not that big of a deal. Uh, we do have some bandages. Can we make more bandages? Ah, there's no need. We have two first aid kits. I think we'll be just fine. So the seeds we'll go ahead and put away. The planks, the metal, the gears. All this stuff that will be useful in the future. But we don't really need it right now. Uh, I think we are running low on... We are completely out of shotgun ammo. We're going to go ahead and drop our shotgun off. We have more than enough pistol and assault rifle ammo for now. And we just don't need four weapons on us. So 
you know. So we have a little bit of food, whiskey we can drop off, and we have some water as well. Very nice. Make sure there's nothing in here that I'm going to need. I don't believe there is. We can kind of let that be for now. Cool. Very well. Let's check on our little plants. It looks like they're done. Isn't that amazing? Oh, there's two of them in this one. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we're going to need more garden soil and seeds, which we do have a little bit. So let's do that real quick before we head out of here. Another little log, another little pot. Look at that. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Man, today is our day. Sure you don't want to give me some more metal? Huh? 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 No. No, it does not. Okay. Very well. We'll go ahead and leave these logs here. I don't believe we need those right now. And another pot. Fantastic. Don't think we need it, but that's okay. So do we have our seeds on us? I don't think we picked them up. We're going to have to go back and do that real quick. Get these planted and we will be good to go. Radish seeds. We can go ahead and throw our food in here. We don't need it at the moment. Garden soil. Cabbage seeds. So we have cabbage and radish. We have six of those. That's how many pots we have as well. So that's more than enough. This is going to be great. Okay, so no beets. We do have cabbage though. So cabbage on this side. Wouldn't mind getting some carrots, but we're going to need a little bit more money. Peppers. Radish. Yeah, we're going to need to get a little bit more money so we can get some more seeds from the vending machine. Or, you know, just find them naturally. No big deal. So this area is turning out pretty cool. Very nice. Cool. Let's get on the road. I'll go find us somewhere really cool and interesting to uh, kind of loot up. And I think we'll be good to go. Okay, so I was driving around. And if you notice, our base is here. I came down here and noticed it was that big school hospital thing that we died in last time. And I was like, well, I don't know what this is. Let's go check that out. Well, look at this crap. This looks fantastic. I don't know if you can take over this base or not. But man, does it look cool. I think I would kind of like to uh, snipe some of these people here. I think that would be pretty awesome. And currently, we have just food and water on our quick keys. Oh, no, we don't. We have health. That's good. I'd say we take a couple shots at these guys, huh? Okay, so he's got a melee weapon. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. Rifle, rifle. All right, a lot of rifles here. Oh, really? That wasn't a one shot? That's kind of horse shit. That's all right. Oh, what are you going to do, big oh, bad yeah, tough yeah. guy? Oh, hey, you, hey, hey. Come on, lads, get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a no scope. Oh, man. That was fantastic. Holy crap. Oh, really? Metal pipe. Lame, dude. Lame, lame, lame. Well, he definitely almost killed me. That's, uh, 
That's a problem. Ooh, that dude had some money. Nice. Falling on a budget. That's what I like to see. Another metal pipe. See, all these metal pipes. Let me see here. We could go ahead and use the health. And we'll go ahead and use the food as well. That pops us up a little bit. That's 20%. We are pretty much out of water. That could become a problem in the near future. So we're going to have to rummage through this thing. More money. Yeah, this should always be a one shot to the head, especially. I can maybe understand a little bit if it's in the vest, possibly. But even then, I mean, come on, give me a break, right? All right, so we got like almost 130 rounds, it looks like here. Look at that. Wow. I'm not sure if we can throw. I think we should have room to put some of those in here. Unfortunately, there's no trader yet. Or we'd be able to sell some of these off, probably. That's all good. I forget, does the canned food give us... No. I was kind of hoping it would give us a little bit of water as well. I'm not sure if there's anybody else here. So we're going to go in with our rifle out. The wood is great. Definitely going to be useful in the future. But as of right now, I'm not really sure I need more. At the moment, I'm not seeing any more movement here. They could always respawn. Oh, look at that. Oh, this dude. Get out of here. Dude, I want that freaking knife. And another metal pipe. I think we're going to go ahead and just drop it. This doesn't seem uh, like we really need it at the moment. Let's see if there's any goodies up here. Maybe some ammunition for us. Hey. Seriously? Oh, you mother... Well, we're getting a little bit low on gas, so I guess that's something. I mean, really, even if they had, like, a water jug up here or something, you know, that would be ideal. Got a nice little view of the place up here, though. Okay, it looks like everybody has been searched, and we are good to go check this place out. Well, I thought I was going to get stuck there. Holy crap. That wouldn't be cool. There's more than one entrance. That's good to know. Bandages. Matter of fact, we can use another one. Take us right up to 95%. I'm, I want to say we don't need these, but we can always pick them up and drop them if we need to. I feel like we need to bring the vehicle a little bit closer. Hopefully they don't respawn in, but if they do, we'll just give them a little taste of the assault rifle. Very, very nice. All right, so some of this stuff we can go ahead and drop off here. Make sure we have plenty of room to pick things up. And again, just in case, let's get out the little assault rifle. What the crap? Where did I go in last time? There we go. Some pretty cool little areas here, though. Very nice indeed. Unfortunately, nothing in there. 
Three energy. I don't think I've used any of those energy drinks yet. That's kind of weird. Felt like that was going to lead up to something. Oh, there's some loot that I can't pick up. Oh, ain't that a shame. Oh, that's not good. Well, we found another bug. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us very much. There's some ammo there. I wonder if I can pick that up. Oh, man. See, this is exactly why we need vaulting. That's all right. We'll go find some way, some other way that we can try to get in here. Looks like there is still plenty more to do, as far as searching is concerned. What a really cool looking place, though, man! I tell you what, super cool. I like it a lot. But can we not stand on this at all? It looks like we can. Barbed wire doesn't hurt us. That's good. Go slow so we don't fall off here. Oh, wait. The ammo was right there. But let us pick that one up. Hmm. Very strange. I gotta give it one more try. Yeah, it looks like it's just a collision thing here. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Not a big deal. I mean, it is the metal, so it is kind of a big deal, but... Yeah, we got some berries. Alright, candy bars as well. We have found a little bit of metal, so that's kind of helpful. Anything else hiding? Hey, look at that. Very nice. Ooh, what was that? That looks like it was rifle ammo. I will gladly take that. Seems like there's so many little areas that things could be hiding. Like, man, plain sight. Well, what ammo was that? I guess it had to have been pistol ammo. Man, we're doing really well on ammo right now all of a sudden. Kind of makes me want to go a little bit crazy. I feel like this is pretty much searched out. I keep saying that, and then I keep finding things. But this time, I feel like it's true. I do like the little obstacle course, though. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can get up there. You know what? Let's try. We're already here. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. I wonder if you can see our house from here. Where would it be? Let's look at the map here. Yeah, it looks like it would be east. That could possibly be there and just not rendering in. Who knows? Isn't that cool, though? Man, what a what a cool little place. All right, well, I think we've pretty much run our course here. I think we get out of here, go check out somewhere else, see what else we can find.
Oh look, I think that's our house right over there. I think we're gonna go back. I think we're gonna go save our game real quick. It feels like a responsible thing to do since I did not save it before we left the house. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to go ahead and just save and drive off, but then I realized we had quite a bit of stuff in our vehicle there. Um, so I went ahead and took some of that out, put it in the storage over here, and I did see that we do have a decent little amount of water here. So, yeah, so that's good. But we do still need to go refill as soon as possible, but for now, we at least have something to kind of quench our thirst. This gives you a value of 20. We're already at 75. We'll go ahead and use our potatoes. Get that out of the way. Throw these little pots off of us. Definitely don't need those as well. Cool. So we're definitely going to have to make a water stop. Probably get some gasoline as well. But let's just keep pushing along and see what else we can find here. Alright, we're going to make it take a little brief, brief stop here. We've already been here. We've already seen it. Not going to search everything. But we do know there should be a water container in here somewhere. If I can find it. You know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea to make a little vehicle repair kit. Unfortunately, all of our stuff is at the other location. So we're not going to go through all of these buildings. We're just going to try to find the water. Hey, look at that. Very nice. Where the hell is our other water bottles at? Oh, I bet they're in the truck. Damn it. All right, let's go back and get those real quick. Maybe we'll just drive our vehicle around to the back over there. Seems like that might be a little bit easier. As much as I want to blow those turrets up, no point in wasting the ammunition. Little getaway route here. Hey, look at that, another sniper rifle. Well, isn't that something? I guess that is always... <laughs> wow, I still didn't get the bottles. I guess the sniper rifle is always in the same location. So if you haven't seen it before, there you go. Now you know where you can get yourself a sniper rifle. Look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and Thirst is at 99. We should be able to refill one more bottle. I hope eventually there's going to be... Wow, two more water bottles. I hope eventually there's going to be some sort of like water collection system or something you can place by the river. Use charcoal tablets to get the uh, whatever the hell is in the water out of the water. Or, you know, we could just make a water system, a little water refill container. Just like you can all the rest of the tables. I think that would be pretty beneficial. Not sure what is that way. Oh, that's the school. We've already been there. I think this area is going to be something that we either haven't seen or haven't seen in a while. But maybe this would be cool to go to. Go check that out and see what it is. Let's make our way over there. Okay, so on my journey to another location, um, I kind of had a little bit of an issue. So I stopped at one of these little guys here to save our progress, which we'll go ahead and, oh, well, we don't need to. We just respawned. Our vehicle is not here. So fortunately, the developer has, as you've seen before, put in the respawn vehicle. Thankfully, that is a feature. Holy moly, I'm so glad. All right, gas, we're running a little bit low. We're going to go ahead and refill. Should be more than enough, I would think. It is not. All right. That'll be good enough for now. Cool. So now we should be able to continue on our way to where we were going. Okay, so I just went just a couple seconds down the road. And as I said, we were planning on going to check this out over here. I'm not sure if it's another bandit camp or what it is. Actually, it looks like it might be a fallen airplane. 
But at this little crossroads that we've seen before, I do see a section of buildings back there. I kind of want to check it out. But you know what? We're going to continue. We're going to just continue going on with our plan, and uh, that'll also allow us to stop and get a little bit of gas. So we'll check that out in the next episode. Just keep pushing forward. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. I don't know what this is. Do we have any more ammo in this thing? Looks like we do have a little bit more ammo. We're going to check this little place out. It doesn't look like there's anything here, but... They have to all be here for a reason, I guess. Alright, I don't see anybody running at me currently. Got some rifle bullets and some bandages here. Make sure we have a little bit of room. Matter of fact, let's drop some of these water bottles off into our vehicle. Well, there's so many more areas that I'm just not aware of. Pretty crazy. Developer has been working hard, that is for sure. Got another one down. Another one bites the dust. All right. I'll say we move into a little close quarters combat here. Oh, you over there. Whoa, major floppage. Wow, he almost got me. And just like that, we're all good again. Thanks for the bandages. Appreciate it. You know what? On second thought, yeah. This can be possibly considered close quarters as well. We'll take advantage of it. He gave us a little bit of sniper ammo. Not sure if we can come up here or not. Unfortunately not. I was kind of hoping that would be one of those opportunities that would be a the beginnings of a ladder down that we'd be able to search or create, excuse me. So it just looks like these little guys here. Well, they were guarding some seeds. Those better be some damn good seeds. Oh, looks like we have arrived. Well, well, well. Hey, look, it got foggy, and I didn't get kicked out of my vehicle. Well, that's pretty fantastic. Let's see, let's make sure we've got everything that we need to here. We do. All right, we're going to take out as many zombies as we can, and if we have an oh shit moment, then we'll have to switch over and uh, go to a better weapon. Got some pills. Very nice. And the pills do 20%. We're at 88, so we're not going to use them just yet. There are quite a few zombies here. I wonder if there is anything worth searching here. But unfortunately, we've ran into a number of issues. Uh, some of these might end up getting cut out, but a lot of uh, awkward sounds. We have had a major stall in the game that I ended up having to reset my computer a lot of things that i haven't seen in the past which while it is unfortunate if you're playing this game i would say remind yourself that in a game like this with very few or one developer things like this are just going to happen hello hi Whoop. now we're good to take the pills so yeah, things like this are just going to happen, and we need to remind ourselves of that. Uh, the more content that he keeps pushing out, you know, the, the likeliness, it's pretty likely that it's going to cause some issues from time to time. So while the game gets better, in some senses, it's going to get a little bit worse. But he has shown us 
that he is going to have a pretty quick turnaround on a lot of these patches. So don't get discouraged by the game. If, if anything, he has shown us, you know, a whole lot of progress in the right direction. So just keep that in mind when you see these types of games or you see these types of videos. Why can't I search these? That's kind of poor shit. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Hopefully some of this is searchable. Oh, I got caught up here. I could play this all day, guys. Peekaboo. Very nice. Air Force. Yep. Should have flown Marine. Oh, there's some sort of fake wall here. Gunpowder. Nice. Bleh. I'm glad that didn't explode. But it seems like if you let them swing, then they'll kind of stop. Whoops. And that'll kind of let you uh, regain your composure. Get a little bit of stamina back. It works out pretty well. But really, you only need ammunition when it comes to the armed guards. Those dudes, ain't, they ain't messing around. They ain't messing around at all. So this is pretty cool. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to search, though. Definitely some collision issues in this area. And whatever loot is here, it is pretty well hidden. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to search that one. I do believe we're supposed to be able to, but... Sounded like there was multiple there, didn't it? Did to me. Maybe we should take some of these clowns out. No, we'll just we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. So not the best area in terms of loot. Definitely still has some issues for sure, but we are getting some loot. Definitely good. The fire and the smoke mechanics on this game. Man, from day one, they have just been really solid. Really solid. Definitely liking that as a huge plus. I guess there could potentially be things hidden on top of here. Ooh, Michael Jackson. Were you talking after death? Definitely felt that way. Well, oh, I think that is it. We will try to get on top of the little broken down aircraft real quick. See if there's any way we can get up there. See if, you know, for some odd reason, there might be some stuff hidden up top up there. Nope, oh, feels like we're going to run into some walls again. Yeah, definitely doesn't want us getting up there. But the likeliness of 
this thing crashing and then they're magically being <laughs> ammunition or something sitting on top. Probably pretty unlikely. So as best I can tell, aside for some, you know, possible metal on the ground, which sadly I have not been keeping an eye out for. There almost has to be some down here on the ground. And that's pretty much it. But yeah. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, thanks, as always, for coming and spending a little bit of time with me. Man, these collision issues are... Yeah, they need some work. They definitely need some work. First area that we've seen in quite a while that really needs some work. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me, guys. As always, I appreciate you coming and spending some time with me. My name is Egyptian. A lot of games coming out, as you guys... By this time, by the time this comes out, you're going to have seen a lot of variety on the channel. This is just me just kind of trying to feel everything out and just kind of trying to gauge what works well for the channel. Obviously, we're trying to hit a higher number of subscribers. You will see on a Subnautica video, I'm going to be doing a Subnautica giveaway. I do also have a key to give away for Withstand Survival. So if this game is something that interests you, hey, we're going to figure out a structure. It might be on Twitter. It might be on YouTube via comments and a random name generator. One way or another, we will figure it out. And we will be back very soon for more content. Um, I know a lot of people are sitting at home, so I'm trying to push out as much as possible. But I am still working. I would say unfortunately, but I know there's a lot of people out there that would definitely rather be working because of financial issues. So I'm just going to be grateful that I have a job currently. And we'll leave it at that. But smack the like button if you like the content. Hit the dislike if you did not like the content. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Definitely helps me out a lot. Thanks again for coming around, and I will see you guys in the next video.